What's back, guys? Welcome to another player growth test here. This time we're taking a look at the German midfielder in Levin Osinali. As you can see, some good stats already. Um, his technical stats are what are his strong point, in my opinion. It's what you're going to get out of him a strong technical midfielder uh, with his ball control, dribbling, short passing. Uh, long passing looks pretty solid there as well. Um, mental stats are going to grow very nicely, as we'll see. But, uh, you can play cam, cm, cdm. He's right foot, medium, medium, work rates. A four star weak foot, three star skin with six foot. So he's definitely a bigger midfielder. Um, so he has that nice bit of strength to him. He's going to uh, have some nice size to go along with his technical ability, which is pretty a good combination to see from a player, in my opinion. But, uh, We'll get into the end of the first season now. Weird uh, de decreases in his physical stats. You can see the way that ball control, dribbling, long passing, short passing have increased. So tremendous stuff from him. And his marking is uh, improving a bit. So if you do want to have him be more of a defensive uh, midfielder, he will definitely be able to fill that role for you. But uh, you can see the end of that second season, big growth again. And the ball control, dribbling, short passing, shot power, long passing look great. Vision has gone up as well to that green stat there. Um, but... Uh, Again, his tackle stats has continued to grow so tremendously, as you'll see here um, at the end of this third season. Goes up to 77, again, decreases in physical stats, unfortunately, but uh, the ball controls up to an 89. Dribbling is tremendous. Solid long passing, short passing, shot power. Crossing has gone up as well, so uh, he can definitely go out wide a little bit as well for you um, when he's playing that center mid, center attacking mid. It can be on free roam. You can see now at uh, the year 2020 he moves up to an 82 overall. Uh, just that attack position, interceptions, vision uh, has gone up nicely. His reactions, ball control, dribbling, long passing, short passing, shot power, stand tackle, and crossing. It's so definitely with the increases and in marking. He can play some CDM as well for you. Now you can see in 2021 he's kind of he hasn't grown uh, too much. A few increases here and there, but uh, he definitely still can improve as his. Uh, Potential is touted as 84 according to SoFIFA, but either way, he's a tremendous technical player. Uh, as you can see, those mental stats um, bode well for a center attacking mid. Of course, taking a look at um, his other information again, just so you guys can have a look at it. Uh, but uh, those technical stats are just absolutely tremendous, and it's going to be a wonderful center attacking mid for you. You can link up with um, your strikers and the like. I can definitely you know, track back a bit as well considering his marking, but uh, I definitely think his best role will be in that cam role, but you can always st stick him back there a little bit at uh, deeper as a CM or a CDM uh, if you need him to fit into that spot. But uh, with that, I, he's a huge recommendation. Definitely think you should uh, get him if you can afford him. It's going to be probably the most expensive player I've actually done, but uh, he's either way, he's a solid player. Of course, you're going to have to wait considering his loan um, to Werder Bremen, of course, from Bayer Leverkusen. But either way, he's a must-buy in that uh, second year. So definitely go ahead and get him if you can. But with that, guys, hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I'll be signing out now, guys. And I'll catch you guys later.